figure. His family says his body shows clear signs of trauma, but police told them that he drowned. The family is now begging the friend's mother to explain what happened, and they want to know why police didn't issue an Amber Alert. Well, on Friday, our attorney about their concerns about this on the Isaiah Factor Uncensored. So here's a clip that you're only going to see here on Fox 26. When you guys hear this latest theory from investigators or possibly the medical examiner that is involved in drowning. I think um, if you go to that location and look at it, there's about a foot of standing water. I mean, it would be very, very interesting to me for someone to have drowned in one foot of water. It seems a peculiar situation at best, and I think that they called it wrong or they've not ruled it the homicide that they should have and arrested the people responsible. Change your thoughts. Yeah, Isaiah, on top of all of that, you also have, there's a photograph that's been circulating online, um, and it's a graphic photo. Many news outlets haven't been able to air it because it's so grotesque, the nature in which Bobby died. If you look at the photograph and you see how distorted his face is and the damage done to his 15-year-old body, it becomes nearly impossible to believe from any logical standpoint, any legal standpoint, any post-mortem or anti-mortem standpoint, that Bobby drowned in a sugar cane field. Now, is the Iberia Parish Sheriff Department, Sheriff's Department, doing enough, in your opinion, to get to the bottom of this, or they're just blowing it off on this is drowning? A absolutely not. I feel like they're actually throwing, they're pointing fingers at Baldwin, and like Baldwin is pointing fingers at them. Um, but still, you know, we have a, a child, 15 years old, deceased that was missing, you know, um, with no answers. And Isaiah, I would jump in there and say, um, when they see our kids, they don't see their kids in this area. Louisiana is, is a hotbed of racism. I think that Sheriff Romero and the chief police in Baldwin have done nothing and very little because of the nature of the fact that when people in, in law enforcement see children of color, they don't see their kids. They don't see white kids. Maybe we need to change the name of Amber Alert to Kawan Alert because clearly they didn't realize that they had an obligation to do something when they reported on the scene on October 30th. And socially distanced Christmas activities are popping up around town already where you can check out some fantastic lights without even having to leave your car.